We're here at the boat ramp. I'm about to meet up with some clients on a kayak fishing charter with my buddy down under that bridge. And that's where they're at right now. But I just got some new attachment for my trolling motor. I'm super excited to share it with you. And I figured, hey, why not just share my entire trolling motor setup and the DIY ultra trolling motor build really to get the most out of your trolling motor and the whole point is that you can transfer all, all the essentials that you're going to need on a boat all attached to your trolling motor because you guys know i have a couple boats so i like to be able to bounce it between this and the prowler and whatever project i'm working on so let's check it out first things first is the troll and find now this is really cool because it's made by a viewer of this channel here and this is not something i believe that you can just go out and buy even on amazon at least not yet it's just some dude who has a 3D printing business and happens to make a super, super cool fish finder trolling motor mount and it uh, attaches right to the shaft. Now, what's cool about this is that it doesn't require any drilling at all. In fact, this is the original Garmin Striker 4. It's made for this and I believe one other type. So if you have the Garmin Striker 4, definitely check it out. But We'll talk about the fish finder in a second, why it's perfect for these boats. But the troll and find, all the stuff you'll find in my uh, description, but it just bolts right on there. It swivels around and it can flop the other way. It's absolutely perfect. So as you can see, it attaches there. I've got the cords coiled up all around there, runs down the shaft, and I actually already had, ooh, Oh, it's not quite touching. I thought that was touching. I already had a transducer mount installed. It actually comes with a transducer mount, except their transducer mount attaches to the skeg so it doesn't move side to side. I've already got mine perfectly set up with that came with my Garmin Striker 4. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not going to remove this just to add the other one on, but it does come with a transducer mount on the foot of your trolling motor. Now, if your trolling motor doesn't have a transducer on it, that means the transducer is attached to the boat, which makes it not very transferable. But as you can see, with the transducer attached to the motor of the trolling motor, your fish finder goes with you and your motor, which is super cool. Now, I know a lot of people, they'd be like, no, I need a dedicated transducer mount on my boat. It, it just works better. It doesn't get hit on things. And it's just overall a cleaner setup. And I don't disagree, but like I said, if you're bouncing between multiple boats, this is definitely the move because yeah, it's not the best location for a transducer, but keep in mind, all this comes with it. So we've got the fish finder mount, no need to drill any holes in your boat. That's great. Let's talk about the fish finder itself here for a second. And it's perfect for these little boats. Not only does it fit this attachments very well, it takes up very little room and no matter what boat I put it in, which I greatly appreciate. And it's pretty simple and it's only about $120. Let me mention this setup's gonna run you about $40, $45. I'll link it below the troll and find. Absolutely recommend it. And I am just so excited to continue using it. Now we've got the fish finder. This is the Garmin Striker 4 with the transducer bought on Amazon with Chirp technology. Now, it's just down scan but for 120 bucks this is an epic epic addition to your trolling motor because it's basically the eyes and ears under the boat it gives you the water temperature your active voltage which will drop as you use the motor so it's nice to know if you're over or more importantly underpowered it gives you of course a clock but depth it'll read bottom structure as you can see it has the compass right here and of course it marks fish so you know how fast you're going my speedometer is not up right now but you know how fast you're going how shallow you are what the bottom's doing and where the fish are as well as all your vitals so it doesn't only look really good and it's just completely snug clean out of the way it is very functional and i use this all the time even when i'm out here flats fishing i use it all the time and of course you can move it however you want so if you wanted to bow mount your trolling motor or whatever i guess it would be the same either way this thing rotates the device itself because i don't have it clamped down all the way i like it to move just a little bit and this also rotates so pretty freaking awesome folks anyway let's talk about the trolling motor itself now i have it was about a 180 dollars 46 pound thrust newport vessels trolling motor it doesn't matter what trolling motor you have the fish finder of course works with everything this works with all uh, tiller drive trolling motors, anything like this, the Minn Kodas, all that. So don't worry about it. The trolling motor itself is not that much of a big deal because all this works. But what is a big deal is the prop. Now, as you know, 
Newport sells them from the factory with a three blade prop. This is really important because although it does increase drag and use a little bit more energy, here is why I absolutely recommend you upgrade to a three blade prop. And I know the Newports come with it. Some of them don't and the Minn Kotas don't. So in case you don't already have a three blade prop, let me put you on right here and I'll link you in the description some common models. So the two blade is gonna be a little bit more energy efficient, but this is gonna give you much more acceleration, much more thrust. So when I'm in two minutes about to be down there bridge fishing, I hook up to a red snapper or a uh, you know 40 inch bull red under that bridge, I'm gonna to need to get away from that and pull that fish out of the structure very, very quickly. And I've been told over and over, the best way to do that is a three plot <laughs> three plop, a three prop blade. So it's going to give you more acceleration, more thrust, more power, and it's going to get you up and to full speed quicker, up and out of structure, increased maneuverability, and overall, in my opinion, increased performance. Yeah, you might use a tad bit more energy, but it's not that big of a deal. And as a bonus, before we move on to the main event, the easiest to install, the most functional, and the cheapest, Let's bump into the battery. Now, this is kind of not trolling motor, but it goes with the trolling motor. So I'm gonna cover this really quickly. This is the Newport Vessels battery box. You have the battery tester that does not work with lithium, and I only recommend lithium, but you can power standard USB port. Quick release wing nuts, which make attaching the fish finder hookups and the trolling motors to the terminals very quickly. And you have a cigarette lighter or accessory port. So that's super helpful. Plus it's waterproofing and it helps everything stay clean and not corroded from the salt water. And inside I have a 100 amp hour lithium battery from Power Eurus. I'll link it in the description. The reason I went with this one is because it connects via Bluetooth to your phone. So anytime you're on the water, you can see down to the second how, many, how much, well, huh, Let's say down to the minute, not second, that's exaggerating. Down to the minute, how much time you have left on the water. It's an absolute beast. Highly recommend 100 amp power lithium because I will fish for eight hours and I've never gone below 45, 46 actually, 46% I've never gone below. I have a screenshot of it. That's my record for fishing all freaking day under this bridge with fast current. All right, we've covered the fish finder. We've covered the mount. We've covered the prop, battery, battery box, and the transducer. Now here is something that's super important. I see a lot of people building all sorts of rudders for their boats, but you don't need to folks. All you need is a clamp on shaft mount rudder, $25 from Amazon folks. It's all stainless steel. It's held up to the salt water very well. And this increases tracking. Now, in case you're not sure without this, it's kind of hard to steer. If you try to drive in a straight line, you'll more than likely snake. And when you're snaking, obviously you're using more power because you're going back and forth and you're not going in a straight line. Also, if you're not going in a straight line, it's gonna take longer for you to get to your spot. So you're not going to increase speed, but you are going to increase your efficiency, cut down time, even getting from here to that point right there to get on some reds and trout. And you're just gonna use less power. So get to where you wanna be quicker as well as using less power and increasing maneuverability. Turning on a dime really helps with the, the uh, rudder. So you can turn a lot quicker. It's basically zero degree turn now, like a friggin' John Deere baby. And I absolutely love this rudder. But other than that, everything I've mentioned in this video, I'm gonna link in the description below. I'm super excited to share this with you guys and I'm about to go catch some big fish. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more tiny boat content, safe boating, tight lines, and God bless.